last night. There was a mob of St. Louis teens last night? Yeah, apparently. Oh, my God. Like Chicago. Caster. People shot on Cherokee Street during the Cinco de Mayo weekend. The most recent shooting happening just hours. Oh, you did this yesterday. Shot and injured. This violence comes less than 24 hours after a deadly shooting Friday night. This is a new one. This is not the one oh, yesterday. Shit. This is a new one. People shot on Cherokee Street during the Cinco de Mayo weekend. The most recent shooting happening just hours ago. Two people shot and injured. This violence comes less than 24 hours after a deadly shooting Friday night. Two people died and two more injured in that Friday night shooting at the exotic bar and grill on Cherokee Street near Oregon Avenue. This is that same area. The exotic bar and grill on yeah, Cherokee that's, Street. That's sunny AF, bro. You know that one? Sunny, that sounds sunny. Y'all know, have you ever been there? Nah. Nah, but exotic sounds sunny. That's just, uh, you know. And, yeah. and it's a shooting in the same area. Sounds sunny. The exotic bar and grill on Cherokee Street. I mean, I only know, I only know St. Louis from uh, being near the arch and stuff and near the stadium. So let's so let's depending upon what its relationship to that, I could maybe I could tell you something. Shout out to Kim. Shout out to Weather. He says Kim Gardner resigned. Heavy push for the state to control St. Louis Metropolitan Police. Also talk about merging county and city prosecutor's office. Gliders in my city are slowly waking up. Yeah, but has anyone's ever stood up for the McCuskies? Remember that family who the um, Black Lives Matter protest? Was that stormed, wasn't that Louisville? Stormed their, no, they, they, yeah, they, nobody stood up for them. They stormed their um, property and they... Well, the governor, the governor did. The governor... Uh, 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 X out their uh, prosecution, stopped it. Okay. Yeah, but that was at the end, though. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, no, he it just... stopped it before it even got started. I mean, they, they did the charges and then he gave them a pardon right away. Okay, well, yeah. Um, Basically, I, I the governor, the governor is responsible for getting rid of Kim Gardner too. Yeah. Uh... I, I don't know. I, the energy with which I do stuff, maybe it's a glider thing, maybe it's effective. This is the exotic bar and grill. So this is their um their um flyers and shit. Yeah, this is Suns. Oh it's yeah. Definitely suns. It's like one of them shitty strip joints that has an all you can eat lunch buffet. Yeah, definitely. That, that, that looks right That's there. That looks like an all you can eat. Uh, yeah. The, the girl on stage hey. two has a big old fucking C section scar. Yeah. The one on stage three is a fucking amputee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. She working with some things, yeah. Dang but they got some yeah. badass chicken wings. <laughs> yeah, well, dang, 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 dang. She got that trunk. Yeah, so this is this is a black bar. I can tell from the um, oh yeah, look at the food, heavily seasoned. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> food is heavily seasoned, <laughs> heavily like seasoned. that, <laughs> you know, because we can't taste it unless it got fucking fucking bunch of fucking garlic and shit on top of it. <laughs> he said heavily seasoned. <laughs> you know, it was, it was, it was a lighter bar would be all kale. So yeah. It would be there. Yeah, man, we can't taste it. We got we got a different palate. Even our palates are different. Damn. They named it Honey Hot Joint. You know that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, this is this is this is a sun bar, man. Yeah, all the chicks on the flies are suns. Oh, that actually look good. I I like that. Right. They don't here. serve on plates. They serve on them fucking styrofoam jobbies. Yeah. Oh, I I would eat all. All that looks good to me. So it's definitely a, a, sun, a sun bar. Man. Yeah. This shit look good to me, man. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, it looks good over here, too. <laughs> that shit look good. Yeah, yeah look at these shrimps, man. You know these shrimps wouldn't be, like, covered in butter and Hell no. All that shit if it was fucking gliders. That should be pink with some cocktail sauce. Oysters, <laughs> man. That be oysters and shit. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, these would be. Yeah, this would. This is. This is. This is definitely. That would be all. That would be nothing but spinach and uh, and broccoli, yeah. man. 
Yeah, man. Um, wow. Not, so, not yeah. where I eat. This is this is this is definitely a sun situation, man. Over here at Cherokee Street. Yeah. Right. Sensational, I'm sure. Yeah. Sensational. Salute to Route 66. He says, Hey, uh, greetings from Flyover USA. Talk heating up out here about national divorce thoughts. First time donor, love your show. Salute to you for first time donor, man. What do you mean? National divorce. What does that mean? There's been a lot of talk about about the, blue the red, red states, divorce. about the red states uh, splitting off from the, the country. Yeah, right. Which, okay. We we tried that once and it uh, didn't work out. So good. It yeah, yeah, we tried it once. It didn't didn't really work out. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. The parts that would that are liberal. Are gonna have the black people living there and black people running a lot of shit. The parts that are conservative are gonna have mostly white people there and high achieving, high earning, and um high high um um IQ black people there. So the the instantly there's gonna be a difference in like quality of life in both places. So, and it's a much different place yeah. than 1861. So what you're going to have almost instantly is the quality of life in the in in the blue in the in 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 the blue America is going to be so bad. It's going to trend towards Haiti, and the quality of life in the red America is going to trend towards Iceland, pre um, woke Sweden, shit like that. And what's going to happen is they're going to follow you like we always do. We're going to fucking follow you because we, we want to live in the quality of life, man. We're not going to want to, if we're going to have the option to live in fucking Haiti or Iceland, most some people are smart enough to fucking Iceland. walk across the street and go to Iceland. Yeah, I'm going to Iceland. Fuck so that. we're going to fucking follow you. And it's going to, so it's, it's never going to work to separate because. You're, you're going to have cool shit and safe shit and nice shit. Your parks are going to be clean. Your neighborhoods are going to be safe. And some people are going to fucking follow you. Out on Cherokee Street during the Cinco de Mayo weekend, the most recent shooting happening just hours ago. Two people shot and injured. This violence comes less than 24 hours after a deadly shooting Friday night. Two people died and two more injured in that Friday night shooting at the exotic bar and grill on Cherokee Street near Oregon Avenue. This is that same area as today's Cinco de Mayo Festival. New at 10, Alex Gall talked to the owner of a nearby business about this violence. Less than 24 hours after the shooting, this is a vibrant Cinco de Mayo Festival. There are a few signs that this incident even happened, except for those boarded up windows and shot out windows at a nearby business. Brittany Morris was getting her Cherokee Street storefront and street stall ready for the party when- We heard the gunshots. And then we heard the crash boom of glass, and I was like... Why isn't Dr. Umar married to a woman that looks like this? You know what I'm saying? Why is it? Why doesn't he... Why doesn't... Why don't these pro-blacks never show up with a woman like this and two little brown kids and a brown fucking golden chocolate lab and have the perfect family picture? How come they always you know, even single or with some goddamn fucking mulatto? <laughs> you know why? Because it's part of the, drip, the griff, you know? Yeah, I'm just saying it's just interesting. Like this woman, she hates white people. She loves pro blacks on fucking YouTube and fucking Twitter. She's blackly black everything, but she don't have a fucking husband in the country of for his 40 million black people. Where the, yeah, the black people don't like that type of shit, though. Too, we don't like that type of shit either. Like the chick that's like, I think that she's on that masculine shit and. Always right and always want to be going against shit. Nah, niggas don't like that shit. Bro. No, but this but, woman would be. I'm talking about for that guy. I'm not talking about just for like Pookie or. Oh, Ray he's Ray talking about Umar. Oh, hell just yeah. For that Umar. type of guy. How Perfect come Umar. that type of guy always shows up with a mulatto and a bunch of fucking beige kids? How come he never shows up with this woman? And we never see them with this woman. This woman's always single. Oh, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, skin. I, I, I hear what you're saying. Definitely. Definitely. This woman's always single in Blackestan. She's a single mom, and she's always single. 
And it's just odd that like she hates white people. I mean, she hates white people. And it's like, <laughs> why? Like, it's just weird, man. This woman's always single, man. Um, Cherokee Street storefront and street stall ready for the party when we heard the gunshots. And then we heard the crash boom of glass, and I was like, is that my glass? Morris runs this store next door to Exotic Bar and Grill. Her employees all scrambled to safety, but police say that Friday night shooting ended with two men dead and two more people injured. The fourth, a woman, an apparent passerby, grazed on the foot. It's just like a lot of screaming afterwards, people on the street bleeding. Damn, they're out of plywood. Crying, it was not good. This is the second time Morris' store windows and have... And plywood is expensive as shit. When That's I worked at Home Depot, bad. it was... In plywood, you could get a sheet like this for fucking $12. Um, three quarters of an inch, you could get that for fucking $12, $15. And, and it depends on the grade. This 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 PVC... Um, that particle board. Particle board, particle terrible. board, yeah, particle board. But 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 this shit was eight, eight bucks when I was working. This shit, this, this shit is like 40 bucks now, man. Yeah, and a drop of water crazy. hits that shit and it falls apart. Yeah, but it's good for this shit. Just temporarily boards yeah. and shit up. All fires and shit. Covered by a mouse. Unless the guy breaking in has a squirt gun in some time. This is the second time Morris's store windows have been shot out inside a year. I don't like it. I don't even like the fact that we're celebrating right now today. This is the second time her window. <laughs> this is a woman who, listen, when in I tell 12 you. 12 months. Listen. When she, when I tell you she hates white people, I, I, the reason I keep saying that because I don't think you understand <laughs> how much she hates you. I, I see like, some <laughs> of the, mar- I, I'll see some of the, mar- some of some women like that married to to gliders though. Every once in a while, it's like, and they'll, like they'll, they'll, be, they'll get married, they'll get married to an extremely self hating glider. They would, yeah, yeah some like, dipshit named like Gerald or something. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta Whatever. understand. All her problems, she'll she'll die single unless a white man comes and marries her. She she'll fucking get killed over there because if the third time the bullet's going to not just hit her, this is going to hit her. She's she 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 she's dodged the bullet the first two times. Third time is going to hit her. That's crazy. It, 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 it's her store that that they yeah. shut the windows off. Exactly. Yeah. She, <laughs> no, she's next. She's next door to the what's the name of that place again? The bar. And she hates white people. Kitties and wings or something like that. I raised on the foot. It's just like a lot of screaming afterwards. People on the street bleeding, crying. It was not good. This is the second time Morris's store windows have been shot out inside a year. I don't like it. I don't even like the fact that we're celebrating right now today, even though we just had violence last night. But the festival. But your ass is out there. You got your stand out there. <laughs> At two times in a year, she probably didn't even have to buy new wood. They just put the old shit back on. Yeah. Right now, today, even though we just had violence last night. But the festival went on with hundreds celebrating on that very same street Saturday afternoon. We understand like how it happens, but it's like we can move past it. At this next door bakery, they are looking on the bright side. Having a whole festival where we bring in people, it just shows... We're creating love. We're creating like the whole like hospitality within the whole community. It's fine and Danny right now, but what's going to happen tonight? News Four saw dozens. Well, you know what's going to happen. Tens of officers milling around the area, and these police cameras just steps away. In South City, Alex Gall, News Four. Those fucking police cameras police don't mean really- anything. St. Louis police have not released any information about the victims or possible suspects. Tonight, police are asking anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers. Mm, yeah, I bet that's a dead phone line. It's probably fucking cobwebs and shit on an old dial phone. Yeah, man. This is... Nobody's calling that number. 